My name is Ryan Hardigan from Econ Technologies, the creators of ChronoSync and ChronoAgent. In this screencast series, we're going to talk about the various notifications available in ChronoSync. This first screencast deals with notification sounds in ChronoSync, including how and when to use them. If you'd like to view the screencast of this series dealing with email notifications in ChronoSync, click the link below. Without further ado, let's begin. In ChronoSync, there are two places to configure sound notifications. There are global sound settings in the ChronoSync preferences, and a place to customize sounds in each individual sync document. Let's look at the global sound settings in the ChronoSync preferences. Launch ChronoSync from the Applications folder. Then open ChronoSync preferences from the menu bar by selecting ChronoSync Preferences. The notification sounds can be found in the general panel. In ChronoSync, there are different types of sound notifications. Success sound notifications are played at the end of a successful sync. Failure sound notifications are also played at the end of a sync if the sync ran with error or was aborted. Finally, attention sound notifications are played when an event requires your interaction with the sync, such as if an error occurs during a manual sync. Sounds are enabled by checking the checkbox and disabled by unchecking the checkbox. The sound is played as you release the pop-up so you know what it sounds like. To customize the sounds for a specific sync document, open a sync document, switch to the options panel, and locate the sounds section. By default, the sound settings in a sync document plays the same sound set in the ChronoSync preferences. However, the settings in a sync document override any settings in the ChronoSync preferences. To disable sounds entirely, disable sounds both in the ChronoSync preferences and in each sync document you create. Sounds are enabled in the sync document by default. If you want all new sync documents to have certain sound settings different from the default or have them disabled altogether, create a new empty sync document change the sound settings, and then save as default from the menu bar. If you have any questions regarding ChronoSync or ChronoAgent, please visit our website at econtechnologies.com.